Today we are here to present to y'all the nominees for a lot of different categories. We're gonna give y'all the nominees, let you know who we think should win these awards, but the winner is really up to you. We're gonna be putting the uh, polls up on the community post, and we want you guys to get in there and let us know who wins the awards, and next week we will come back and present you the winners. So, are y'all ready to get started with the first category? Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. So our first category is most shocking moment of the year. Clint, what do you got for us? Well, I'm pretty sure this is going to be everybody's shocking moment of the year. CM Punk coming back to WWE, right? Mm, that's got to be crazy. One. Nobody ever thought that was going to happen. He <laughs> said he was never going to come back, and he came back. Did I say more? Yeah. That's a pretty shocking that's a good moment. One. That's a good one. <laughs> right? So CM Punk's return. Uh, Brian, do you have the same for us, or what do you have for your most shocking moment of the year? You already know, my boy. CM Punk returning to WWE. Kenny Bomb's favorite wrestler. Making his way nope, to negative. WWE, I'll put you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is the most shocking moment for me, and uh, yeah, man, yeah, it's crazy. All right, so I'm next on my screen, and I actually did not go with the CM Punk moment, I it was a shocking wouldn't. moment, but you know, there were some rumblings, and we really didn't think it was going to happen for me. What personally got me the most invested and shocked when it happens, coming up with it on the Roman fly. Reigns pinned Cody Rose at WrestleMania. Unbelievable moment that's to me. One. I still can't believe they went with that decision. So that's going to be my most shocking moment of the year. What do you got for us, Loaded? Tony Khan firing CM Punk on AEW Ooh. Collision. Mm. That's a good one. Yeah. I was going to go with the WWE one with CM Punk coming back, but that was the most shocking moment of the year. It was very super for him to do that. He should have kept him. He would have made a lot of money with him. Yeah. Could have he could have had a feud with you know who with the elite, <laughs> but it didn't happen yeah. because they didn't want to make amends because they wanted to be little bitches. Whoa. Whoa. They wanted them out. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted nothing to do with them. We they were, to that out. He he was he was working with children. <laughs> he wanted to put it behind them. He is indeed loaded. To be bygones be bygones, <laughs> but yeah. They wanted nothing to do with them. So there you go. And now he's back in the, one. in the WWE. I wasn't too shocked when it happened because I thought it was a of long time coming. And I was glad to see it happen. But you know what? That's a good one. That is a good one. Mr. Dubs, what do you got for us? I mean, we all know what got 80 million views on so across social medias. We all know that that's the biggest moment. But because I'm so far down the list and I want to give people something to vote for, I got to give the trolls something. Obviously, Ronda Rousey appearing on Collision out of nowhere for no reason. <laughs> Ronda Rousey not showing up in AEW, <clears throat> not doing anything else, just randomly showing up on an edition of, or sorry, did I say Collision? I meant Ring of Honor. I meant Ring of Honor. They're on the same level to me. Yeah, not even in AEW, <laughs> on in Ring of Honor television. That, to me, was such a shocker. Obviously, the CM Punk return is going to be the biggest moment. But shocking-wise, like shock value, why was Ronda? on ROH television and never mentioned in AEW once. That yep, to me is that's a good one. That's another good one. Now, I do want to mention, y'all maybe see me uh, looking down. Uh, it's unprofessional, but I'm just taking down everybody's responses so we don't miss anything and we give you guys the right votes. Uh, let's go on to Kero the Goat. Kero, what do you have for most I am going to go with Mr. CM Punk, of course. Him returning to the WWE uh, simply because, like... All of us knew it was going to come back, but they still played us so well. They played us like a damn fiddle, at least me. When I saw the Titan Tron, I could not believe it. I jumped out of my chair. You can watch it right here on this channel, actually. If you go to our shorts, uh, you'll see our reaction, live reaction. Oh. Um, so it was amazing. I loved it. It was one of my favorite and most shocking, mo uh, shocking moments, not only this year, but in a long while. So, yeah. Yeah, looks like that's a very popular one across the board. UTV. Are you going to break the break the cycle, or what do you got for us? <laughs> no, I will not. I'm mm. going to be going with CM Punk too. Like, it was just such a crazy moment, you know, because there were so many rumors circulating, like, oh, he's gonna come back, he's gonna come back, and then started to decline. Was like, man, there's no way it's gonna come back. Yeah, you know, he started losing hope. Randy Orton comes back in Survivor Series. You're like, okay, okay. And then you're like, okay, that's got to be the end of the show. Static. And then everybody just goes eight. Like, I'm never going to forget that day. We need to leave that link in the description for the reaction, bro. That was a crazy-ass <laughs> night. Yeah, 
You're right. That was a crazy night, and I definitely can't deny it. That would probably be number two for me. But for number one, I just still got to go with the uh, the injustice they pulled on Cody Rhodes. But before we pass that, because no one mentioned it, and I thought it would get mentioned, is that just for people to have selection, can we not give honorable mention and give them the option of 80,000 people in a stadium for AEW? Most tickets ever sold to an event for All Elite Wrestling. Is that not a shocking moment? They outdid it every that one, or are you going with Ronda Rousey? I'll go with 80,000 tickets because I thought somebody would bring up Wembley. AEW Wembley okay. is that. Well, we'll that go with the fact that they were able Wembley to sell. Wembley Dubs. We're calling it on the fly. 80,000 tickets. 80,000 tickets. Yeah. That's incredible. All right. So we're going to go ahead and scrap Ronda Rousey, and we'll go ahead and add Wembley's attendance to most shocking moments.